So I'm down here at the Ventura Pier, and I came down here to take a few pictures and hopefully get at least one good one that I can do a painting of. So I've always enjoyed coming down to the Ventura Pier. It's a great place to take a walk and get some exercise and just enjoy the scenery. And it's definitely a tourist place, so it does attract quite a few people. And usually there's some fishermen out here and sometimes people come down here to walk their dogs. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is take a walk and take a few pictures and hopefully get at least one good one that I can do a painting of. It's kind of windy out, so I don't know if I'll have any success at all recording sound. I'm recording this on my iPhone and iPhones just do not record good sound when it's windy. Maybe if I had an external mic with a windsock on it, I'd have more luck, but yeah, I can pretty much forget recording sound out here. Wow. I can catch that. So it's kind of windy down here today. Not as bad as yesterday. I was down here yesterday and it was really windy. So um, I still won't get good sound today because the iPhone just doesn't record good sound in the wind at all. There's just a lot of wind noise. So yeah, not a lot of people out today. There are a few. I actually got some decent video yesterday that I might actually, um, well, I already took some screenshots, so I might do a painting from one of those screenshots, but I just figured I'd come back today and see if maybe I could get a little bit better of a video that I could do a screenshot from or possibly take some pictures and do a painting from the picture. Ideally, it would be better to take a picture and then do the painting from the picture. That would be ideal. But, you know, there's just, there's not a lot of people here today. I was hoping for maybe a little more activity. So I'm down here at the end of the pier. It's a nice day out. I'm really glad I took the walk. I didn't really see any kind of real painting inspiration though. So anyway, just gonna walk back right now and uh, see what happens. Another thing I'm kind of looking at up here is the taco place. There's quite a few people and, you know, I like this little taco place. I, I don't think I've eaten here more than a couple of times and it's been a long time since I have, but there's quite a few people. So that has some potential to maybe do a painting of the taco stand here with, a, it's not really a stand, it's more like a little restaurant with an outdoor eating area. But there's a lot of people lined up right now. So maybe I'll walk by and shoot a little video. And if I get something good, I could do a screenshot of it and do a painting from that or stop and take a few pictures. Either way. Right about here is actually the perfect spot. So I'm gonna take the screenshot and print it up and get started on this painting.
So I very rarely ever do any sketching before I begin an oil painting. Usually I just do the sketching with the paint itself. But what usually ends up happening is I usually end up getting a lot of the lines in the wrong spots to begin with. And I have to keep moving them and adjusting them as I'm working on the painting. So by doing some sketching to begin with on this painting, it's gonna end up saving me a lot of time. So what I did is I started out by doing just a very basic grid on the picture, and then I did the same grid on the canvas, and then I just sketched in the major lines of what's gonna be the painting, like the building lines, the roof lines, the, some of the windows and doors, the pier, and by getting all those things in the right spots to begin with, I won't have to move them and adjust them as I'm working on the painting. So I didn't want to go overboard with drawing too many pencil lines, so I kept it to just basically a minimum. Because the reason is, is covering the pencil lines with some of the lighter colors of oil paint, it's gonna probably take at least two, maybe three or four coats to fully cover the pencil lines. Now with the darker colors, it'll probably cover within one or two coats. So anyway, at this point, I've taken the drawing far enough, so I'm gonna start painting. So I've got a very thin coat of oil on the entire canvas and this is the way that I like to do my oil paintings is I like to paint with paint on top of paint. So it really helps me out when I start going and doing the details. So if I just try to start painting the details on top of a bare canvas, it's really hard for me to fill in and cover all that bare canvas between the colors. But by having a coat of oil on the entire canvas, it just makes it so much easier for me once I start doing the smaller details. Then I can really move forward and make good progress on the painting. Now it is oil paint, so I'm gonna give it a little bit of time to tack up before I start moving forward and make more progress on it. I'm gonna give it about two hours right now. It'll probably just tack up a very little bit so I can make a little bit more progress on it today, but tomorrow is when I really plan on making the really good progress after it has overnight to tack up.
this is the end of day two, and I've worked a lot of hours on the painting today, so I'm actually kind of tired right now. But I made pretty good progress, so I'm actually really happy with where the painting's at right now. But there's still a lot of details left to do. So this is just a good time for me to stop, and it'll really help to let this paint tack up overnight. So tomorrow, when I go to work on it, I can really get in and start working on some of the smaller details and start fine tuning this painting. Now, I don't know if I'll finish tomorrow. It might take part of a fourth day too, but you know what? I really like the way the painting is looking. So if it takes part of a fourth day, I really don't mind. I'm just gonna do whatever it takes to make this painting look as good as I can get it. So it's Sunday, March 17th, and I'm about to begin work on the fourth day of the painting. And it's St. Patrick's Day, by the way, so I've got my green on. I'm actually part Irish, last name O'Connor, so I'm a pretty big fan of St. Patrick's Day. So anyway, I made pretty good progress on the painting yesterday. A lot of work on the people, and I don't have a lot of experience painting people, so it's actually very difficult for me. And, you know, painting the details on the faces when the people are this small is extremely difficult for me anyway, because just the smallest touch of the brush can change the look of the faces drastically. And so all I'm trying to do is just get them to where they look okay to me, and it's just not easy, and it's very time consuming. So the other thing is, is that I wrote my name on the bottom right of the canvas. And I really want the attention to be over at the front of the line. And having my name here just brings a lot of attention to the lower right part of the canvas on the end of the line. So I'm thinking I'm gonna eliminate my name. I might try to disguise it a little bit like by blending more colors into it, but if that doesn't work, I'm just gonna eliminate it. The other thing is the shadows are too dark, so I'm gonna lighten those up. And other than that, I'm just going to go through the entire painting, do a few more details, just really spend some time tuning it up and just try to get it the best that I can get it. right now and for some strange reason I'm really in the mood to go down and get some tacos. So I think I've only eaten here maybe twice in my life so it's been such a long time I don't even remember but uh, anyway I'm gonna try it out and see how it is.
So there wasn't a whole lot of seating at Beach House Tacos, so I came down here to the pier, and this is the Beach House Veggie Taco right here. Let's check it out. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna try it out. This taco is so good, I might just have to get another one. It's a nice day, so I'm gonna get a little exercise before I head home and finish the painting. Alright, so it's time for Beach House Veggie Taco number two. Okay, so five star review for Beach House Tacos. And that was a great way to take a break from painting for a little while, to go out and get something really good to eat and then go for a walk and get a little bit of exercise. So I'm getting really close to being done with the painting. You know, being done with a painting is sometimes a bit tough for me because even if I worked on a painting for a week straight, all day, every day, I could always look at it and still see more things that I could fine tune and adjust and fix up. But there comes a point with every painting that I just have to be done with it. And this painting is getting very close to that point. So I'm just going to go through it for a little while longer and fine tune a few things and then just call it done. And then I'll zoom in on it so you guys can take a closer look at it. <laughs> 